go tonight. Thank you. So congrats on this great movie. Looking forward to seeing it. So tell me, what is the hardest thing about directing a group of comedians? Keeping everyone focused, I think, would be one of the hardest things. Um, and it's weird because you can't be a disciplinarian. You have to let people feel free and you have to let people, you have to create an environment that's fun. But you also have to make sure, you have to know when you got to get work done. Yeah, you got to keep them in check, right? But the guys, it's not really that hard. These guys are so professional and so disciplined that it's, you know, and they all have dramatic experience as well. So it's not, it's not that hard. It's a pleasure working with these guys. What's the worst Christmas gift you've received? The worst Christmas gift I've received? I don't, I'm not that into just like socks. I mean, it's the same, you know, I'm not into socks. I'm not really into a tie. I'll take a gift certificate, you know? That's kind of what I want. Just let me buy my own thing. Email me a gift certificate. That's it. It's kind of lame. So tell me, comedy versus serious roles, what's the difference? Which one do you like better? Oh, that's a good question. I couldn't choose. I mean, for me... You have to choose, though. I have to choose? <laughs> You're going to make me choose? Yes, right now. I mean, here's the thing. I love watching both, too. I don't, it's not every day that I want to watch a drama, and if one day I watch a drama, the next day I probably want to watch a comedy or something else. So I have an eclectic taste in watching movies, and uh, you know, unfortunately I, I get to have an eclectic taste in, in acting in movies too. If I had to choose 500... So I totally dodged your question. You dodged my question, but I'll choose for you. 500 days of summer. But well, which one is that, a drama or a comedy? That's, ah, that's a serious really? role to me, I cry. Uh, that was real life, but I love that. Also laugh? I did. So You're I, confusing me. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think, honestly, my favorite movies make me do both. They make me laugh and they make me cry. That's really the important. Four is actually like that. Believe it or not, they don't show all of that in the commercials. You're looking at me skeptically right now. But if, if you watch the whole movie and not just the commercials, there really is a heart there. It's about friendship and it's about the people that you see year after year. And, you know, uh, that's what family is. Okay, last question. Happy holidays. They're around the corner. Let, tell me what your New Year's resolution is and what's the worst gift you've ever received. Okay, first of all, I'm not going to tell you the worst gifts I ever received because I'm on camera right now. How rude, Come on, please. How rude would that be? Why would you ask me to disrespect Because they should stop doing that. You should just they like... They gave me a gift. They gave me a <laughs> gift. You say thank you so much. You're gives helping you the gift. next person. It's the thought that counts. That's true. Okay, moving on. New Year's resolution. New Year's resolution. Uh, uh, I want to stop biting my nails. That's a good one. Good luck with that. Yeah, it hasn't worked yet. <laughs> hey, hey, another up? brown person. I like it, brown. How's it going? Man. Nice to see you again. Somewhat brown. What's <laughs> up? How's it going? <laughs> I can't. Okay, so the holidays are around the corner. Yes. Thanksgiving is next week. Yeah. Just, you know what, let's keep it like, give me your Thanksgiving 100. menu. What are you, What do you want? What are you looking forward to? Uh, cornbread dressing. Um, I fry turkeys. Ooh. We have this uh, thing in New Orleans where we do a turducken. So I, I love a good baked turducken, um, which is a chicken inside a duck inside a turkey. Oh, that and sounds amazing. Can I, I get I the recipe? Uh, you put a chicken inside a duck inside a turkey. That's it? And, and you fry it? it? Yeah, oh, oh, bake it. Bake it. Oh. Bake it. Okay. So we do that with some cranberry sauce and, uh, you know, peas and mashed potatoes. We're old school with it. Good eggnog. Yeah. Do you have any New Year's Eve resolutions yet? Um... To spend less time <laughs> with my, uh, <laughs> to work less. Oh, I know you love Wu-Tang and I know you love hip hop. Yes. If you had to remake this movie and pick five rappers to remake it with, who would they be? So, it's a tough one because it's like rappers that I think are good actors. Is that kind of the question? Or is nope. it just rappers I want to hang out with? It can with? be trash actors, doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'd like to, why not, uh, let's have Tyler in there. And uh, I met Travis Scott the other day. He was really nice. <laughs> so we'll throw him in there. Uh, I love the RZA. So you put the RZA everywhere. I would never met Q-Tip, so I always wanted to meet him. Uh, and Kanye, because he's the best. Kanye is the best. Yeah. Jesus is the best. OK, so holidays coming up. I know you're Canadian. Yes. Thanksgiving already passed. So let's talk about Christmas. What is the worst gift that you've ever received? I can't think of one. I, I, people ask me that actually for, for this movie, and I, I've never gotten a gift that I thought was so bad that it like stuck out in my head. Maybe okay. some, you know, some clothes that don't fit, things like that. Let me change the question. Yeah. What is the worst gift that you've given your wife that she was kind of like, eh, about? 
I feel like once I gave her like a gift certificate somewhere. That's so thoughtless. It's thoughtless. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Have a great night. Congrats. Nice thank meeting you. you, my fellow Canuck. Thank you.